on a day such as this, <laughs> when we're to remember those who have served us, that certain words be used, dedication, honor, bravery, sacrifice, lest though we forget that behind these very important words and ideals, there are real people. And we must remember them as individuals. Right. I thought of a letter composed, uh, sent out under my signature to a Mrs. Bixby in Massachusetts, who it had been reported to me, had lost five sons Ooh. in the great civil war in which we have been engaged. I was greatly affected by this and wrote the following letter. Executive Mansion, November 21st, 1864. Dear Madam, I have been shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjutant General of the United States and of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. Mm. I feel how weak and fruitless must be any word of mine which should attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. But I cannot refrain from tendering to you the consolation which may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the loved and lost and the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, Abraham Lincoln.